I don't see a lot of people talking about what I think she's really doing with this book. And so sometimes I'm reading these reviews and I feel like, I think you're kind of missing the point. <laughs> in October was one that was picked for me to read by one of my patrons. Every month my patrons are entered into a raffle and one of them gets to select a book that they want to see me read and review in that month. So this month Karen over at Run Right Reads was the winner and she selected Washington Black by Essie Adugian, which I was really happy about. This is one that I've been wanting to read and I was very excited to have a reason to pick this up. And I ended up really loving it. I think this is such a smart book and it's so interesting to me because I, I, after I write reviews on Goodreads, I usually like to go through and read other people's reviews and see what people are saying about it. And what's funny to me is I don't see a lot of people talking about what I think she's really doing with this book. And so sometimes I'm reading these reviews and I feel like, I think you're kind of missing the point. Um, <laughs> So let me tell you what I think she's doing in this book. What I think is so interesting and smart about Washington Black is it's a subversion of these traditional forms of exotic travel literature in the vein of books like Heart of Darkness or King Solomon's Mines. And that I think is what is so smart and so good about this. And this is the thing, is I think if you haven't necessarily read some of those types of books, you might not catch that that's what she's doing and that's I to me at least what makes this so smart and so powerful. The thing about those types of travel literature is they always center a white male character traveling to these exotic parts of the world and interacting with characters of color and so it's about their adventure, it's about their experience with these exoticized people of color and often you get this trope of the noble savage where there will be some character who is unlike the rest of the savages that they come from because they happen to have some level of intelligence or innate ability and this white male character is always amazed to find intelligence and ability among these savage people of color. Like this is, these are kind of like the tropes that, that go in that literature. Obviously it's very problematic like very problematic. But Washington Black is in the same vein of literature, but when I say it's subverting those tropes, the way it does it is that instead of centering the white male character who is experiencing the exotic, it centers the black male character who is being maybe experienced as exotic by outsiders and by white characters in the book. This book is told from the perspective of George Washington Black, a boy who was born as a slave on a plantation in Barbados. And so he, for various reasons, ends up becoming the assistant to his owner's brother, who is this kind of quirky, world-traveling naturalist who is an abolitionist, and he ends up assisting him and traveling various places as his adventures unfold. Now what's interesting is I think because everything is being told from Washington's perspective, instead of it being this like fun, light-hearted adventure, rather we get these strong themes of trauma and oppression and the ways that those things have long-lasting effects. In some ways it's quite a dark book. A lot of the things that he experiences and sees are pretty horrific, um, so definitely check your content warnings for that, but I think it's such a powerful and smart book because instead of it being this white man who's like, traveling for the heck of it to like experience exotic locations. We see Wash being forced by circumstance and by his status to travel through different places in the world and yet he struggles with always looking back and trying to discover who he is and having a hard time moving forward. And we see that push-pull all the way up to the very end of the book and the ending is not a very clear one. It's one that's vague where you could see it going either way and all the way through that he's being pulled by his past, wanting to pursue the future but not really knowing who that is, what that is. And so part of that is like figuring out his identity and figuring out given what he's experienced, given the color of his skin, given the disfigurement of his face from a horrible incident that was the fault of a greedy white man, um, 
how how does he fully embody humanity? What does it mean to be a person, to be a man, to find love? How does he do that given his circumstance and given what he was born into? And yet he's really smart. So again, with that like noble, noble savage thing, he is um, he's like an inborn artist. He's really talented. He picks things up really quickly. And so we see from his perspective, these white men being like amazed at what he can do. But for him, the further he goes into these white spaces, the more estranged in some ways he feels from the people and places who raised him. So there's just like, there's so much to unpack here. I feel like you could do a whole thing. And I wrote kind of a long review on it. So you guys can always check that out. My Goodreads is always linked down below. But I think this is just such a powerful and smart book. It's really well executed. Obviously, I ended up giving this one five stars. I loved it and I love what she's doing with it and I wish more people would recognize why what she does is so good. Um, a lot of the complaints that I see of like people who are like, well, I just picked this up because it was nominated for the Booker Prize and I don't really understand why. Like, it's a fun story and I'm like, no, no, no. Like, look, it's the, the way that it's written and a lot of the things that are included in here are traditionally tropes that you would see in those types of travel literature and it's in that vein but yet with this subversion. Anyway there's a lot here. I really loved it. Um, I think it is well worth picking up especially if you have read some of those other books and seeing the comparison I think is really interesting.